we are celebrating today is uh, National Vietnam Veterans Day. Uh, it's actually happening next week on the 29th, but we bumped it up a, a week. a 13-year commemoration for our Vietnam veterans, celebrating 50 years after the uh, Vietnam conflict. And many Vietnam veterans did not feel that they got a welcome home, and so for many this is the first time that the community and the government One thing I'd also like to say is that the Vietnam veterans have also affected our community. You know, we see our veterans in Congress. We see our veterans in our parishes. We see our veterans in our community. It is very often that after we serve and we see what one person different can make, that we continue to do that. And I have uh, experienced a lot of Vietnam veterans who have continued to serve. And one of the ways they continued to serve was by creating the Vet Center. We just celebrated 40 years of the Vet Center, and that was Vietnam veterans who said, hey, we're going to take care of each other. And after they took care of each other, do you know what they did? They continued to take care of veterans. They continued to make sure that the veterans for the pre next conflicts were going to have the services that they need, that they were going to get the welcome home that the Vietnam veterans did not. And so I want to thank you for everything that was in place for when I came home. And it was Vietnam veterans, very specifically, who said, we're not going to let what happened to us happen again. And so you continue to serve your community. You continue to make this country a better place. And we want to thank you for that. The uh, commemorative pin is available to any Vietnam era veteran. So there are many veterans who uh, went and deployed, stepped foot in Vietnam. There's those who are in waters near Vietnam. And then there are those who are sitting at home. And there's sometimes some guilt about that. But I have to remind you that we always did what we were told to do. If you are a Vietnam veteran, Vietnam era veteran, and you would like to receive a pin, just line up here and uh, we will do the uh, pinning ceremony. They took that. So, yeah, right there, right? So, anyway, so we just as a little small token of our appreciation, we have something to do for you today. And I will tell you, this has been hanging in my office, and it's been an honor to have it in there. If I can't think of a bigger honor, it would be to give it to you. This is a star that the Honor Flight has, and it's been flown over the Capitol. It's in this tattered and worn. But it says on here, as I was part of a beloved American flag, proudly fl flown in the United States of America. The sun and all this have caused me to become tattered and worn, and I can no longer fly. I represent the honor and thanks due to those new now serving and those who have served their country in the past. In this creator, I thank the Honor Flight. So, I hope you can explain that. Thank <laughs> you.